Hello, my name is Pam Bartha. I am the author of Become a Wellness Champion and the founder of Live Disease Free. In this video, I'm going to be talking about different research that links multiple sclerosis and fungal overgrowth. I was diagnosed when I was just 28 years old. This was 30 years ago. And I was told by the experts that there was nothing that I could do to turn this around and take my life back, that I would be completely disabled in time. I can honestly tell you that was the worst, darkest day of my life. But good news, they were wrong. And very early on, I learned about infections and how they were causing my symptoms. I started to research and I came across several different, I call them hero doctors, that wrote books. So this was back in 1988. I didn't have the internet, but I found some books. One of the books was by Dr. William Crook and he wrote The Yeast Connection. So a medically trained doctor that was treating candida fungal overgrowth in the bodies of people that have not just MS, but all kinds of chronic disease. And then other doctors, and they were having success in, in reversing all kinds of chronic disease, including multiple sclerosis. And then other doctors such as Dr. Truss, Orion Truss, and he wrote the book, The Missing Diagnosis. And then Dr. Luke DeShepper, you guys can look these up. You can probably find some of them in the library. Dr. Luke DeShepper, and his book is called Candida. And then a Canadian doctor, Dr. Rona, and his book, The Complete Candida Handbook. So those medically trained forward thinking practitioners, they really helped me to become aware that there was a cause of the condition that I was dealing with, multiple sclerosis, and which helped to build up my belief that maybe there was something I could do to turn this around and take, up, take back my health. What I learned from them was that the condition that I was dealing with, multiple sclerosis, was caused by infection. And so very early on after my diagnosis, because I was aware now that I knew what was causing the problem, and that built up my belief, so I decided to take a different path. I decided to take the steps to treat infection. Well, that's why I've been 30 years MS free. And my heart and my passion was to help others recover too because it's such a brutal disease. And when you get your life back, you wanna help others. I've had the amazing privilege to coach over 600 people in their recovery, not just from MS, but also other chronic disease. So we've learned a lot from all these wellness champions and what I can share with you is consistent with what this research is. So I've collected a bunch of studies that you can look at and they're on my website and there's direct links to the studies themselves. So I've done all the hard work. I've searched and I have found them and then there's direct links. So it is on the website livediseasefree.com, livediseasefree.com forward slash MS hyphen infections, MS hyphen infections. On that page, you'll see there's a bunch of studies showing Lyme disease is really common in multiple sclerosis. That's something that usually needs to be treated. And then also parasites and fungus. So if you go down to fungus, that is candida, and you'll see a whole bunch of studies there. It is shocking. They are finding that people that have multiple sclerosis, they have a much higher incidence of candida infections. They also have a lot higher antibodies against candida. They're finding candida in the blood and in the spinal fluid of people that suffer with multiple sclerosis. And they're also finding fungal overgrowth like candida growing in not just in the spinal fluid in the central nervous system, but right in the brain cells. That's really current research where they found fungus growing not only in brain cells, but also in the nucleus of brain cells, in the center of certain brain cells. Fungus should not be in our central nervous system, right? And, and we do know that the central nervous system is not a sterile environment, but we definitely do not want fungus growing inside of our brain cells. So I would love for you to take a look at that research and please share that with practitioners, share it with other people that you know are searching for answers because together, we can bring change. And I'm hoping that that research is going to help create awareness inside of you that there is hope for you, right? And so if you love what I've shared with you and you would like to learn more about these infections that have 
that I've treated and the wellness champions have treated that have helped us to become MS free and disease free and live our very best life, then make sure to watch my training. You'll find that on Live Disease Free. So on my website, livediseasefree.com forward slash training. And there's also a link below this video. So I love researching and I love to take complicated science and to simplify it down into English and to share the profound insights with people so that it builds up belief and awareness and then it leads to people taking charge of their health. So again, that is livediseasefree.com, livediseasefree.com forward slash training. Bye for now.